The King's Avatar, Chapter 14, 40, 16 Leaves, Audio Source, Wushar World Audiobook.com. Chapter 14, 40, 16 Leaves. Translator, Nomiami Editor, Nomiami. Where had deception gone? Of course, with their omniscient view, the audience couldn't be clearer about this. The Blue Rain fans present were more concerned about whether or not Song Seo knew the answer to this question. But it seemed that he didn't. Song Seo's pace didn't change in the slightest, receding tides still cautiously walked along the thicket, while continually adjusting his field of vision. The moment that Deception's silhouette had appeared happened to be when he was looking away, a stroke of bad luck for him. Nonetheless, by continually adjusting his field of vision, it meant that Mo Fang couldn't easily find a position from which he could mount a sneak attack. After Deception had concealed himself, he very carefully and very patiently followed receding tides, gradually closing the distance between the two. With the environment of Misty Thicket, being able to see the opponent meant that the two players were in fact already very close to each other. Even so, this was still a very long process. Sometimes, because he wasn't able to find a suitable route to approach, the distance between deception and receding tides even increased. But no matter what, deception still hid behind receding tides, not being discovered from start to finish. One minute, two minutes. Normally, this was a distance that could be crossed in an instant, but Mofan had unexpectedly used more than two minutes to close the distance. The extreme caution that he showed was purely to avoid Song Seo discovering him. With one player at full health, while the other only at 28%, to most people, the opportunity earlier when he had first encountered Song Seo was already more than enough. If he had just charged up and forcefully fought him head-on, he could perhaps have already concluded the battle, but unexpectedly, Mo Fan still cautiously prepared a sneak attack. The broadcasting department was practically crying already. If this went on, would today's group arena be fought for two hours? Unexpectedly, the rounds were actually being played in such a dragged-out manner. After using 2 minutes and 41 seconds, Mo Fan seemed to have finally reached the distance that he was satisfied with. When Song Seo turned around again to look in another direction, Deception put the Nanjitsu disappearing body technique to full use, forming seals with both hands at a rapid pace. Ninjutsu Shadow Dance more than ten shadow clones of deception had already surrounded receding tides in the blink of an eye, raising their ninja toes, which gently fell towards receding tides like leaves. Ninja 2, Silver Weapon, 16 Leaves, Shi Lu Yi. The moment that this silver weapon was revealed to the world, everyone was startled. The silver weapon of the number one ninja in the professional circle. Team Misty Rain's Dark Forest, was called 16 Knights, Shi Lu Yi, only differing by one word from Deception's weapon, but overall, it sounded the same. The names for all silver equipment was system-generated, but as a way of generating publicity, clubs would often ascribe their own meaning to the name of a piece of silver equipment. For instance, Dark Forest Ninja 2, 16 Knights, had a chance of inflicting blind as an additional effect, so this could be the origin of the word knight in the equipment's name. But then, what about 16 Leaves? Unlike the bigger clubs, Happy didn't have established systems in place. As a result, since they focus purely on traring well, playing well, and achieving good results, other aspects such as publicity weren't particularly well honed. Even if they had some sponsors to help with publicity, they wouldn't sponsor the likes of Deception, a character who hadn't appeared many times in Happy's games. Since Mofan hadn't appeared very much, the various teams didn't have a clear idea of what properties 16 leaves possessed. At this moment, after Ninjutsu disappearing body technique was quietly used, Shadow Dance immediately surrounded and attacked receding tides. 
As they attacked, more than ten ninja toes gently floated down, fluttering like long leaves that had been curled up by the wind. Sixteen leaves. Was this what it was named after? The audience may not have thought of so much in an instant, but the broadcast's explanation had to be more acute. In that instant, they had immediately been given a speaking point for Happy's deception. Sixteen leaves. Pan Lin shouted loudly. As he shouted, he saw Deception's ninja two floating like leaves, and then he saw the fresh, red blood that had instantly filled everyone's field of view. Everything hit. Pan Lin shouted again. Truth be told, whether or not everything connected was impossible for anyone to determine in that instant. But it was just that the blade's edge spraying fresh flowers of blood in that instant was far too dazzling a sight. Even in the online circle, there might not be many shadow dances in which every single shadow clone managed to hit their mark at the same time. This wasn't something that could be achieved by the opponent simply being unable to guard against it. Even using a wooden dummy, having a player control that many shadow clones to find the appropriate angles to attack at the same time was a difficult feat. In glory, it wasn't possible for characters to physically overlap with one another. Even though teammates couldn't damage each other, they would definitely still block each other's paths. Of course, the shadow clones from Shadow Dance were no different. In this instant, for Shadow Dance to completely connect in such a spectacular fashion, it wasn't just because Song Seo couldn't defend well enough. It was also a matter of Mo Fan's skillful character control. Beautiful. Li Yibo matched Pan Lin praise and shouted. However, in this moment, the television broadcasters were actually somewhat conflicted. It was indeed an exhilarating moment, but when directly observed, it was a little bit too bloody. But that bloody moment passed by in an instant. Just as the television directors were distractedly considering whether or not to quickly cut out that scene, the bloody moment had already passed. Those eye-catching flowers of blood fluttered and scattered on the ground, like the shedding of dead leaves, creating a poignant scene. In the end, just as everyone was shouting and praising Mo Fan's brilliant ambush, receding tides, with countless blades in his body, suddenly raised both his arms and started to spin. A skill that shouldn't have even appeared in a Chi Master's arsenal was used. And as both his arms rotated, the surrounding trees and leaves had already started to spin in the air from the centrifugal force. The deceptions that had closely surrounded receding tides also started to sway. Spinning Cyclone Kill Some people immediately recognized the skill. This wasn't a Chi Master's ability, instead, it was from another fighter subclass. It was a grappler skill. Using centrifugal force, the grappler would attract and then crush everything in his surroundings, using his two hands, a powerful level 70 skill. Of the ten shadow clones of deception, no matter which one was the heart, none of them were able to escape from receding tide's control. The priority of grab skills had always been the highest in all of glory. In the whirlwind, receding tides quickly rose up, and his arms continued to spin wildly in the air. As a result, the chi from the attack also gradually brought those ten immobile deceptions away from the ground. Boom! A deep explosion rang out from within the thicket. Spinning Cyclone Kill didn't originally have this sort of audio effect. WashourWorldAudio.com but at this moment, the effect of the spinning cyclone kill that had been added onto receding tide's weapon was really too shocking. He had managed to completely grab all ten characters at once. If there was only one target, the grappler would entangle the target, jump up, flip, and fall, creating huge amounts of damage. But at this moment, there were simply too many targets, so this one spinning cyclone kill seemed to falter. 
As he jumped, he was already teetering on the verge of collapse, and the targets weren't entangled within his hands, instead, he was using chi to gather his targets. Of course, when he flipped over, there was no flip, and when receding tides had barely jumped up, he had already started to fall, and those deceptions that had been forcefully gathered by his ability also immediately started to fall. Nonetheless, this one move had the priority of a grab skill. The deceptions hadn't been launched high, and they hadn't been been flipped, meaning that the damage output from the skill would be somewhat lower, but even so, a hit was a hit. Boom boom boom, boom. The ten deceptions fell to the ground first. Receding tides brought the chi from spinning cyclone kill to the ground last, sending out a final heavy sound. The resulting shockwaves spread out and immediately collided against the pile of deceptions on the floor from all directions. The whole stadium had been silent for a long time, and in that moment, it finally exploded in enthusiastic cheering and applause. Song Seo wasn't completely defenseless. Li Yibo sighed, deeply moved. Song Seo really focused his attention. Even though Mo Fan's ambush succeed initially, it was quickly diffused by him, Pan Lin said. Exactly. Li Yibo immediately added, Spinning cyclone kills startup isn't fast, but receding tides still managed to use it in that instant, meaning that he must have made that decision aead of time. In the first instant that Shadow Dance was used, Song Seo immediately made a precise judgment and controlled his character accurately. But under the suppression of Shadow Dance, he had no way of escaping, so he straightforwardly took the attack, but quickly responded with a spinning cyclone kill. And even though spinning cyclone kill is slow, it has high priority. Even though so many shadow clones of deception were attacking receding tides, it still didn't manage to interrupt the usage of this skill. Pan Lin added, Exactly, so after forcefully taking this blow, the offensive the Mo Fan launched was broken by Song Seo, Li Yibo said. The defensive capabilities of Team Blue Rain's players are indeed impressive, Pan Lin said. The two of them went back and forth clearly analyzing the present situation, but this wasn't because the two players had reacted slowly afterwards. On the contrary, Mo Fan's next reactions were extremely fast. The moment spinning cyclone kill hit the ground, a pile of deceptions staggered unsteadily, but amongst them, several took advantage of the opportunity, got up, and scattered in all directions. Song Seo had no way of figuring out which of those fleeing deceptions was the heart of the shadow dance, and even if he knew, there was no use. The heart of the shadow dance could be transferred. At the end of the day, it was because his spinning cyclone kill was only level 1, so the strength of the centrifugal force was insufficient. There was no way it could fully control that many characters, and in the last instance of the skills, there were still some gaps left. Mo Fan was extremely agile, and using these small gaps, he immediately controlled deception to dodge the attack. Puff 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 puff. As the deception with the heart of the Shadow Dance escaped, the Shadow Clones immediately turned into a cloud of smoke. Mo Fan's deception escaped, immediately escaping into the dense thicket. With that many escaping figures, Song Seo had no way of knowing which was real. Dot. Deception had escaped, but he was still behind receding tides, and he immediately charged out once more. End chapter. The King's Avatar, Chapter 1441 Fireworks Style, Audio Source, WuxiaWorldAudioBook.com Chapter 1441, Fireworks Style. Translator, No Yummy Editor, No Yummy. Mo Fan had previously been playing extremely slow, taking nearly three minutes to close the distance. But suddenly, he sped up. Step back and turn around in one fluid motion. A new offense had begun practically the instant the several shadow clones disappeared. As for Song Xiao, 
Song Xiao was still whirling around looking for traces of deception. By the time he turned backwards, deception had reached him. Flame slash. The dense fog seemed to boil as flames leapt into the air. The fiery attack was incomparably fast, slashing receding tides directly in the face. Boom. The flames clung onto receding tides and burned him. One, two, three, four, five. Five consecutive hits and then deception vanished into the fog. The excitement had just reached a peak, but all of it just collapsed in an instant. This again. Those familiar with Mo Fan's style collectively gave out a sigh. The fast-paced burst had revealed his skillfulness, but the display always went away immediately afterwards. Beautiful but brief like fireworks. Fireworks style, Pan Lin said. He wasn't the one who came up with this name, but rather a nickname people in the forums had given Mo Fan's weird playstyle. When Pan Lin found it, he felt that it was a very suitable name, and so when Mo Fan showed it off, he called it out. Oh, I've heard of this name before, too. It paints a pretty picture. Li Yibo chuckled. Two consecutive offensives. The first shadow dance had been beautiful, but Song Xiao's timely response to deal with it had been outstanding as well. But Mo Fan's sudden change in pace had caught Song Xiao off guard. The five-hit combo performed from five skills had been perfect. By the time Song Xiao readjusted himself, Mo Fan's deception went into hiding. Song Xiao wasn't going to sit and wait for his death to come. He had receding tides chase in the direction that deception had disappeared into. Mo Fan simply hid behind a tree and went in a circle around Song Xiao. Deception was behind receding tides again. This time, Mo Fan didn't wait too long before launching his next wave of attacks. The sudden sneak attack from behind had caught Song Xiao in a fluster. But this time, Mo Fan's combo had been stopped. Receding Tides was able to escape the third wave of attacks from Mo Fan. Not waiting for the counter-attack, Mo Fan had Deception immediately retreat after seeing the attack miss. Speaking of which, Mo Fan is much more familiar with this playstyle than Song Xiao is. Pan Lin said, I think it's quite clear who's going to win this round. I'm a bit worried for Song Xiao though. He had fought against Yi Shu for a long time, and he must be quite tired. Now, he's against Mo Fan, who's playing this sort of grind game that won't let him ease up. Song Xiao, will he have spent too much energy in today's group arena? Li Yibo said, Ah, this is truly. Pan Lin wasn't able to find the right words. Blue Rain had tried to tire out Happy's Yi Shu. Not only did they fail, Song Xiao had a rough time while trying to exhaust Yi Shu. And now, he was up against another tiresome opponent, Mo Fan. Not only did it look like he was going to lose, he would most likely be affected in the following team competition by the fatigue from his group arena matches. Perhaps Song Xiao should give up, Pan Lin said. But do you think he will, with his personality? Li Yibo said. Pan Lin fell silent. Although Song Xiao wasn't a god, with the nickname Mr. Clutch, he would often shine in important matches. As such, Song Xiao's pride was no lesser than that of a god's. Facing against a rookie, Mo Fan, and against a grind strategy that Happy was using against them, Song Xiao shrinking back would be admitting that Blue Rain's strategy today was an utter failure. It would mean that he had given up to a certain extent. Song Xiao would not give up. It was because he never gave up that he made plays at critical moments and became known as Mr. Clutch. Shrink back, give up. Never. Receding tides traversed through the thicket. After experiencing such a long battle, Song Xiao could still muster up another burst of energy. Receding tides looked to be even nimbler than before. Poof. Bang. Deception launched another sneak attack which brought upon a powerful counter from Song Xiao. On this fourth wave of attacks from Mo Fan, receding tide surged with Qi. With a flash burst, he completely toppled Mo Fan's wave of attacks. Where are you running? Song Xiao would not let this opportunity go and had receding tides chase after him. 
As long as he could stick close to him, he would have the chance to stop Mo Fan from disappearing and attempting another sneak attack. Despite only having 3% health, he wouldn't cower. He would continue forward. This Mo Fan player didn't seem to like trades. With only 3% health left, Song Xiao felt like he could take advantage of this habit. He couldn't miss this final opportunity. He had to stick close. Spiral Chi Kill. Receding tides whirled his arms, spinning Chi in the air. Because of this map's dense fog, the traces left behind from this skill was very clear. A spiraling white dragon flew forward. Boom. The Chi exploded, but it was just a straw dummy that was torn to pieces. Substitution Technique Song Xiao immediately looked around, trying to find deception. But he didn't think that it would come from below. Underground Tunneling Technique Deception tunneled out of the ground. The ninja two in his hands, 16 leaves, looked like three leaves again. But this time, the leaves weren't floating down. Rather, they seemed to dance with the wind, sending a ribbon of blood into the dense fog. Dead. Receding Tide's health finally hit zero. Song Xiao hadn't been able to bite at Mo Fan one last time. Scrap Picker. Song Xiao thought of Mo Fan's background. In terms of running for his life, Mo Fan was a master. Song Xiao couldn't help but think of their match against Happy during the regular season. Team Happy's defeat had been certain, yet Yi Shu and Mo Fan had frantically played hide and seek with them. What a troublesome kid! Song Xiao shook his head. He stood up and then left the player booth. Right now, only the Happy fans on the West platform were cheering excitedly. The rest of the stadium filled with Blue Rain fans had worry and gloominess written all over their faces. The home team had the advantage of picking the map and should be trying to take the initiative. But this match, Blue Rain's plans for this map completely failed. Instead, Happy's Mo Fan was like a fish in the water as he handled Song Xiao like a worm. 84%. Deception still had this much health left. Would Blue Rain's next player be able to deal with him? It was just a rookie, Burr Team Blue Rain's fans were worried for their team. Mo Fan's skill was unquestionable, perhaps even feared. Who is Blue Rain sending up next? Pan Lin said. Song Xiao went back to Blue Rain's player bench with his head down. WuxiaWorldAudio.com Mr. Clutch wasn't able to clutch it out today. You did well. Take a rest. Yu Wen Zhou did not scold him. Instead, he took the initiative to console him. The Blue Rain fans watching with an omniscient view could grasp the true situation faster than the players playing on the stage. Song Xiao had fallen for Yi Shu's trap. While Yi Shu was sandbagging, he had been completely focused on defending and tiring out Yi Shu. During that time, he was no longer tiring out Yi Shu, but rather, it was Yi Shu tiring out him. Afterwards, he was stuck in Mo Fan's slow and dragged out pace. Song Xiao was truly exhausted, but he could not relax. The more crucial team competition still needed him. He could only follow his captain's words. He hurried to the sidelines to rest as much as possible before the team competition began. Go! Quote. At this moment, Yu Window called out to Blue Rain's third player. Li Yuan, Summoner 8 Notes. Last round, he had encountered Mo Fan in the group arena, but had lost miserably. He met him again in their game. Li Yuan was pleased. He need to take revenge for last time. Good luck, Li Yuan. The entire stadium stood up and cheered for him. Their opening wasn't good, making everyone nervous and worried. Watch me. Li Yuan waved his hands to his teammates and to the crowd as he walked onto the stage. The match soon began. Li Yuan finally switched up Blue Rain's initial strategy and went along the central path. Mo Fan still took the roundabout route, but he took a rather strange path. He first had Deception move west. Once he moved far enough, he took a path north and slightly to the east. What is Mo Fan thinking? Pan Lin wondered. This. It looks like he's planning on cutting off Li Yuan after calculating his movement speed, Li Yibo said. Cut off? 
The choices at the start of the match are the central path, the path slightly to the west, and the path slightly to the east. Because of the dense fog, you can't deviate too far east or west from the central path, otherwise it's pointless. That's why Mofan is having his character move tangentially. If the opponent takes the central path, the opponent will be moving towards the southern end. If the opponent takes the west or east path, the opponent will move slower south than if the opponent took the central path. If Mofan continues along his current route, he'll come across two intersections on either the central or eastern path. Three possibilities. He's covering three possibilities before he tries anything else. Li Yibo said. In that case, he's already succeed. Will they meet on the central path? Pan Lin looked at their movements. That'll depend on what Li Yuan does. Li Yibo said. Li Yuan's eight notes quickly reached the center of the map. He had eight notes stop and look at his surroundings. If eight notes doesn't move, deception might not run into him, Pan Lin said. He'll probably move, Li Yibo said. Not only does he need to move, he needs to move forward. Pan Lin said, dot. Just as he said this, Li Yuan's eight notes continued forward towards the south. In Pan Lin's eyes, eight notes was already doomed, end chapter. The King's Avatar, chapter 1442 Summoner Formation, audio source, wushaworldaudiobook.com. Chapter 1442, Summoner Formation. Translator, Nomiyami Editor, Nomiyami. Would deception be able to cut off eight notes? After listening to Pan Lin's and Li Yibo's analysis, the viewers began to ponder over this question. Through their observations, they calculated their speed and pathing to deduce whether the two would meet. However, Li Yuan didn't push forward mindlessly like Pan Lin and Li Yibo said he was. As eight notes moved, he would summon creatures from time to time, preparing for a fight preemptively. Li Yuan has started summoning. But in this map, if Mo Fan plays slow, it'll be unfavorable for Li Yuan. All of us know that summoners are very mana hungry, and summons only stay on the field for a limited duration. Li Yuan is putting out summons, but if he doesn't encounter his opponent within their summon duration, wouldn't that mean he's just wasting his mana? Pan Lin said. But what can he do? It's far too easy to get ambushed in this map. If Li Yuan doesn't summon creatures in advance, would he have the time to summon them when the fight begins? Li Yibo added. In that case, Happy's side can just not do anything and run around in circles. If Li Yuan has no choice but to keep a few summons around, then in theory, couldn't Mo Fan just wait for him to run out of mana? Pan Lin said. Ha, huh, Li Yuan will summon, but he certainly won't summon a lot of them. Li Yibo laughed. Eight Notes was a spirit summoner. If he mobilized his entire army, the scale would be massive. Sure enough, Li Yuan only had Eight Notes summon two little spirits. The two little spirits didn't stick close to him. Instead, he, they spread out to Eight Notes left and right side. Hmm. The positioning of these spirits. Pan Lin suddenly called out when he saw this scene. It's very similar to what Yi Xu had done with his goblins. Li Yibo laughed. Yes. Pan Lin nodded his head. Li Yuan had the two little spirits on his left and right side move around freely, extending the range of his vision to the sides. Although he wouldn't be able to directly see what the spirits saw, Li Yuan's effective vision had increased considerably. In this case, wouldn't this? Pan Lin was just about to criticize Li Yuan, when eight notes drew another two summoning circles and called out two more little spirits. One of these two spirits moved to the front, while the other moved behind him. Li Yuan had now expanded his effective vision in every direction. Beautiful. I don't know if Li Yuan thought of it himself, or if got inspiration from Yi Xu, Pan Lin praised. He saw that the four little spirits were positioned neatly to the front, back, left, and right of eight notes. 
All of them were moving at the same speed too. However, this method has dead angles. Li Yuan's vision is in fact in a cross shape. His vision at the corners is a bit lacking. But if he wants to make up for those corners, he'd have to summon four more little spirits, which would be too wasteful. He could have his spirits rotate in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, but it would slow him down and would also place an extra burden on his mana. Li Yibo said, Li Yuan should be aware of this weakness. Pan Lin said, Of course he knows. Take a look at his line of sight. He's focused on those four corners. Li Yibo said, in that case, even if deception comes in from one of those four corners, he'll still be discovered, Pan Lin said. Not just that. If he comes in from one of the four corners, he won't be seen by the little spirits. That also means the Mo Fan won't know about the existence of the little spirits. If that moment comes, the two spirits on that side can circle around and ambush him from behind, Li Yibo said. Oh, if you say it like that. This is an interesting and well thought out formation. We originally thought that this map was rather disadvantageous for summoners but Li Yuan unexpectedly answered back with this brilliant formation, Li Yibo said. Ha, huh, if the map really was disadvantageous for summoners, I doubt Blue Rain would have sent Li Yuan up for the group arena. Pan Lin said, true. The two players are approaching. Li Yibo said, Yes. Mo Fan's deception is cutting in diagonally. At this speed, deception will come in from the southwest corner of Eight Notes Summon Formation. Pan Lin began speaking louder. He hadn't expected this match as high point to come so quickly. They had seen through Li Yuan's formation in theory, but how would it work in practice? The camera shifted to Mo Fan's point of view. Would he notice the two little spirits? Step by step, he approached. The two moved quite fast, especially Mo Fan's deception. As he moved, he would borrow his surroundings as cover from time to time. This map clearly hadn't been chosen by Happy, but he seemed to know this map inside and out. You could reach a certain level of understanding from looking at the map through an omniscient view, but to adeptly utilize the map required real practice. Mo Fan was able to quickly maneuver through the map stealthily as soon as he loaded into the map. It had to be said that he had quite the talent in this area. Deception's footsteps gradually slowed down and became more and more careful. Almost there, Mo Fan had been calculating. If Eight Notes had taken the central path, it should be about time for the two to come across each other. As a result, when it was about time for them to meet, Mo Fan had deception slow down. Hmm, what's that over there? At this moment, a glimmer of light suddenly appeared in his view. Mo Fan turned to take a closer look and saw an water spirit charging towards him. They found each other, but... Pan Lin shouted. Everyone knew what he meant by but, Mo Fan had noticed the little spirits. Li Yuan's cross-shaped formation had been very balanced. If one wanted to pass through the formation diagonally without being noticed by spirits, one would have to take an extremely precise route. Mo Fan's path clearly wasn't precise enough. He came in from angle just slightly off from the center, resulting in him being discovered by the little spirits at the front. WushaWorldAudio.com Mo Fan was quite calm. He didn't hurry to attack and instead tried escaping from this little spirit. After watching Yi Zhu's and Yu Wen Zhu's match, Mo Fan knew what these summons could do. The summons movements could warn the owner of his position, but at the same time, he could use them bait the opponent to a position which he could ambush from. Shadow clone technique. Deception immediately formed a hand seal. His shadow clone remained there and continued to run forward as the water spirit chased after it. As for his real body, he moved to the side and ran forward along with the shadow clone. This 
Pan Lin was stunned. Wasn't this a replay of the Yu Wenzhou vs. Yi Zhu match? At that time, Yu Wenzhou had used shadow clone technique to trick Lord Grimm's goblin. Right now, Mo Fan was using shadow clone technique to trick Eight Notes' little spirit. This, both sides are doing what their opponents did in the first round of the group arena. Pan Lin remarked. But just when he finished saying these words, he realized his mistake. Mo Fan was doing the exact same as Yu Wenzhou, but Li Yuan. Li Yuan wasn't Yi Xu. Eight Notes wasn't an unspecialized, so his following reaction would be very different from Yi Xu's. After noticing the abnormal movements of his little water spirit, Li Yuan knew Deception's general location despite not being able to see Deception, so he had the other little water spirit on eight notes left to draw closer. The movements of the two little dark spirits on his right and back were also adjusted. Why did he choose to group the same element spirits together? There was naturally a reason behind it. Because big spirits required two little spirits to fuse together. Li Yuan had arranged it in preparation to create a higher staged big spirit. The other difference with Yi Xu. When Yi Xu found Swaxar, Lord Grimm chased after him relentlessly. But when Li Yuan ascertained Deception's position, Eight Notes slowed down, only making sure his summons were within his line of sight. Afterwards, he summoned more little spirits. They didn't all move in the same direction. Rather, the little spirits spread out like chess pieces. The viewers had an omniscient view, and from the bird's eye view from the broadcast, they could clearly see Li Yuan's current formation. As for deception, his real body and his clone were trapped inside the net. The ambush Mo Fan had been waiting for never came because Li Yuan didn't seem to have any plans of getting near him. Eight notes stayed outside of his vision. The situation seemed poor for Mo Fan, but many people were feeling doubtful. Because in the last confrontation between Li Yuan and Mo Fan, Mo Fan had displayed masterful skill at escaping. Last time, despite being searched for by an army of summons, Deception hadn't been caught and was actually able to slowly approach eight notes. What will happen this time? Pan Lin spoke out everyone's thoughts. I'm afraid, it's unlikely. Li Yibo replied. Oh, what your thoughts, Coach Li? This time, Mo Fan doesn't even know where Eight Notes is. Li Yibo said. Indeed, Pan Lin suddenly realized the issue. But if it's just escaping, I'm quite confident he can do it. Li Yibo followed up. If it's just escaping, Pan Lin looked at the match. He's already escaped, no. Deception's shadow clone had dissipated, while the real deception was carefully hidden. After the little spirits lost their target, they didn't know what to do and immediately stopped moving. But the viewers soon discovered that apart from the little spirits that had lost their target, the rest were following Li Yuan's orders and heading towards a predetermined location, end chapter.